Hello guys, this is your musical wolf and today I'm going to review with you the Lenny IRT or Lenny Ironheart Studio. Um, as you can see, it's really, I love how the design for this one, it's really good one. And uh, it's really small, like you can see it's almost same size as my arm, you can carry it, put it everywhere. It's like 8 kilograms, you can put it beside your computer on your desk. And uh, it's really powerful one, it has three pre-amp tubes which can really get good in the game two power amp tubes so you can go up to 15 watt and it's um, basically three channel uh, clean uh, rhythm and lead and it has two inputs so let's take it step by step so we have two inputs here uh, less than one watt and like maximum up to 15 watts so basically if you connect it directly to your computer or we don't want to go so loud so you get it from the one watt which is the one I use because I connect directly to my sound card and record or play and um, then you have the volume for the clean tone down here is the volume for the boost and then you have up the rhythm channel lower the rhythm channel both is like five knobs very simple gain three uh, equalizer like uh, bass mid and high and then the volume same as for the lead and um, the clean channel chair the equalizer for the rhythm channel here's the switches to turn uh, boost on and off rhythm and lead uh, dynamics tone and reverb built-in digital reverb it's a really good one and this is a power switch with the LED so this means it's powered on uh, very simple come with a foot switch so very simple foot switch uh, one for reverb one for boost and the other two uh, lead clean and rhythm so in that settings it's on the rhythm channel if i press on the clean now it's on the clean channel if i press the lead now it's on the lead still on the lead go back to rhythm or now it's on the clean so if the lead uh, led is on so it had the highest priority and then the clean and nothing which means the rhythm uh, the same reverb and boost so for example if you look here at the boost led you'll see it it's going to light now this is the reverb sorry so now if you check the boost you can see now switch off if you go for the lead you will see this lead one light off now it's on rhythm and on the clean you can see the clean green one and now it's off so very good come with the foot switch with cable uh, the price here in uh, Europe it was 460 or 50 euros something like that it's very cool and you can see the red light from the tubes here you can easily see the tubes and uh, let's check the back panel so the back panel here so we have the power socket for power cable and you have the here fuse and uh, this is for ground and here's the output for DI so XLR cable direct to my sound card or sound interface directly to my computer so I record directly and uh, then here it's uh, for emulation circuit on and off so if you're not connecting cabinet you take it directly you have to make it on which is generally what i use and then you have the, the usb and the preamp and uh, and this is dry record gain with the usb so this is basically for the reamp function or you want to play with distortion but you want to record with a clean tone yeah you can see it here sorry the cable is a little bit taking that and then you have the headphones with its volume and then there you have uh, the CD or uh, it's called CD MP3 EOXN uh, EOX in so you can connect any music device like your phone your MP3 and play with it and then you have the effect loop and uh, send and return and then the co connection for the foot switch and then the speaker you can choose between 8 ohm 16 ohm and uh, that's it very simple easy to use you know, basic operation uh, the DI circuit is really good one but it's a little bit the sound is a little bit uh, sharp but 
if you play hard rock metal it's really amazing uh like i play with it like any style like it's really good and yeah it's a very simple one i love the design as you guys you can see so yeah uh if you want to hear it in action uh, or to hear it so um how i can say it yeah you can uh, watch one of my videos i will um, i will record today um dream theater change of season part 2 i will use uh, the amplifier directly to my sound card so i will put the link of the song below so you can um, hear the amplifier it has some clean tones and it has some rhythm and uh, a very um how to say like a simple solo for john petrucci so you will hear the reverb and the channel so basically i will use the three channels i will use the boost to the clean tone i will use the reverb so you will hear everything in that song so it, i think it will be good presentation for the amplifier and uh, the amplifier head so it's really good one and uh, especially if you're going to record at home you are not a gig guy so this one is perfect uh, even if you're going for a gig it's it's very simple to put it like in any bag or even you can put it in your backpack and you go uh, just 15 watts so it's um i think it would be limited in some open places i didn't try it actually i only use it to the di so i have no idea how loud it can be and the clarity of the sound but uh yeah i think it's um it's one of the good amplifier heads if you're looking for like uh, kind of this design which is really i like it and i love it so you should give this guy a try get it right with your equipment and um, the reverb is really good the clean tone it's perfect you can go up really loud until the clean tone start to be a little bit uh, have some gain or crunchy so um, that's a good quality of the amplifier uh, Lenny it's a company in UK uh, this guy is manufacturing in China but engineered inside in UK so most of the products now coming in China iPhone which is a uh, the phone I used to recording these videos made in China and then designed in uh, US. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I think that was for today for the amplifier. Um, I did another one. If you looking for this style, uh, they have another uh, model called uh, IRT uh, SLS, which is a hybrid system. It's like the preamp is tube and the power amp is a transistor and it's up to 300 watt i did another video uh, reviewing the product i will put the link below and they have this small guy the Anhart Pul pulse um, uh, i'm planning to make a video about it so i will put the links for the three um three amplifiers the links in each other so you can watch them and see uh, but this guy is really good one most of the amplifier in that price they have only two uh, preamp in the uh, two tubes in the preamp so uh, for three it's really good you can change it and put like um, another uh, tube if you want to change the tone or you want something more powerful than this tube so you can change it simply it's very easy operation and it's I think it's self biased so you don't need to worry about the bias at all just remove the tube put the other one but just like it needs some precaution so if you are not uh, fully aware or you have don't have the confidence better to find a tech or shop who's selling this stuff and you have a tech he can do it for you yeah uh, otherwise i think it's um uh yeah it's how i can say it's it, i i like it actually and uh i'm planning to use it uh, more than just one song but this is a plan now because i just get it from like uh, two weeks and uh I didn't record any songs yet uh, during these two weeks so yeah uh, this guy is really good one I love it it's um, I love the tone from it so it's personal thing you can get it and try the tone and see if you like it or no and uh, yeah don't forget to watch the video you will hear it so you can have an idea what the tone can get and then generally I will put the gain uh, very close to the maximum but not like to the maximum it's like from 0 to 10 so generally I put it on 9 and the same, I will put the volume a little bit high. So, yeah, you can get a good idea about it. So, yeah, uh, that's for today for this amplifier. And uh, see you guys in another video. Ciao.